Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when the game is not loading on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to restart Steam. So go to Steam, exit and then open Steam once again and then check. If that does not work, simply restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to run the game from the game installation folder. Now for this, make a right click on the game, select manage, now click on browse like local files and then make a right click on the game exe file select properties go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game from here if that does not work go to properties and this time put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game from here still not working this time select windows 7 over here and then hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game still not working this time put a check on disable full screen optimizations and then hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game now still not working in that case you can uncheck these boxes so when you put a check if it's not working you can uncheck these boxes hit apply click on ok launch follow the next step now the next step is to now, if you're using any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you're using, make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now, I'm not using any antivirus program. So, if you're using Windows security, then open Windows settings, go to privacy and security if you have Windows 11, if you have Windows 10, click on update and security, and then click on Windows security. Now, click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down, at the end, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on manage ransomware and then click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app, browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder. So if the game is installed in C drive, open C drive program file 686. Now open the Steam folder. Now open the Steam apps folder. Now open the common folder. Open the game folder. Select the game exe file, click on open. Now type in control panel in Windows search box, go to control panel go to system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings on the top click on allow another app click on browse and then go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select the exe file click on open and then click on add in my case the game is already added so once the game is added now you can launch the game and then check next step is to Change high DPI settings. Now for this, go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select manage, browse local files, and then make a right click on the game exe file, select properties, go to this tab, click on change high DPI settings, and then put a check on override high DPI scaling behavior, and select application from the drop down option, hit OK, and then click on apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Still not working. Go to properties once again and this time click on change settings for all users and then click on change high DPI settings and put a check over here. Select app application, hit OK, hit apply, click on OK, OK, and launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to try DX11 or DX12 in launch option. So go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to installed files tab and then click on I'm sorry, make a right click and then go to properties and then go to the general tab and in the launch option type in dash DX11 and then you can launch the game. You can close this, launch the game and then check if that does not work. Go to properties, this time type in dash DX12 and then you can launch the game and then check. Still not working, then you can remove this and then follow the next step. Now, the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So go to NVIDIA website. Now on this website, make sure that you select your series, select your graphic card over here. Now, once you select your graphic card over here, make sure that you select the right operating system and then click on find. Now, once you click on find, you will see this page, the latest one, the latest driver will be on top. So right now it's 560.94. Now click on view over here. 
and then click on download and once the download is complete you can run the exe file once you run, run the exe file you will see the screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here now select next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure that you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and once the installation is complete then restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphics settings in windows search box and then go to graphics settings and then click on browse over here go to the game installation folder once again open the game folder select the exe file click on add once the game is added over here click on options select high performance now click on save now you can launch the game and then check next step is to verify the game files now for this go to steam make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files now once this verification is 100 percent complete then you can launch the game and then check next step is to install visual c file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website you will see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 you have to install this x86 and x64 install both the files so click on x86 and then run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install click on yes to allow now download this x64 file as well and then run this exe file too and make sure both are installed so run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install and make sure both are installed once installed you will see a restart option you restart your computer restart you must after this after the system restart you can launch the game now the next step is to update windows to the latest version this is important so open windows settings and then go to windows update or update and security then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now the next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM so 16 into 1024 I have converted this in megabyte megabyte now 
that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152. 49152. 4915152. One. Now click on set over here. Then click on OK. OK. Apply. OK. OK. Now restart computer. Make sure that you restart your computer after this. Now the next step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive. So first of all, uninstall the game. So make a right click on the game, select manage, click on uninstall. Now after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, restart your computer and then install the game to C drive. So if the game installed to D drive or any external drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, then in that case you can try to install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your Windows computer. So that will be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.